As the 12th Parliament convened on Tuesday at the Arta Chong Conference Centre, Manzur Nadir was nominated for the post of Speaker by Prime Minister retired Brigadier Mark Phillips and it was seconded by Minister of Governance and Parliamentary Affairs Gil Teixeira. No other nominations were made. Nadir is a former five-term member of Parliament, first being elected in 1992 after the October 5th general elections as former leader of the United Force Party. Delivering his inaugural speech to the National Assembly, Nadir said he understands the importance of his job and will remain impartial and fair. Having sat in this House for some 23 years plus as a member on both the opposition and government sides, I understand the importance of this position and I promise to be impartial, fair and just while upholding the rules, laws and procedures in the execution of my responsibilities as Speaker of this Honourable House. The veracity of this noble institution must and will be upheld at all times during my tenure. The Speaker said he is enthusiastic and dedicated to making the 12th Parliament one that would positively impact on pertinent issues such as constitutional reform, legislative reform and implementation of new laws and acts that caters for changing realities. In a subsequent interview with the media, he said his disciplinary actions against parliamentarians will be guided by the standing orders of the National Assembly. Some tough disciplinary decisions as equal. The rules and the standing orders of parliament exist for centuries. It's not today. And when we take that oath and we sit in a chamber like this, we also hold ourselves up to those high traditions. And I expect that we're not dealing with uh, little crybabies. We're dealing with mature human beings that represent over 460,000 people who voted. And we ought to conduct ourselves that way. Leader of the Liberty and Justice Party and representative of the joinder list in the National Assembly, Lennox Truman, was elected Deputy Speaker. The former Indigenous chief went up against former Speaker Rafael Trotman for the post and secured the majority votes to be successfully elected to the position. Schumann, who attended Tuesday's sitting of the National Assembly in his Indigenous wear to commemorate the start of our Indian Heritage Month, said he has never been exposed to such a position, but will be working with the Speaker to fulfill his mandate. I think it's, uh, it's a good start to the month for us and I look forward to what this 12th Parliament holds for us. I will be guided by the Honourable Speaker of the House, um, the Honourable uh, Manzur Nadir, on what direction we are going to go. This is, a, this is something that is very new to me. I've, um, I have never been exposed to such a position before, so there will be a lot, of, a lot of learning within the fairly short time. In terms of the functions of the Deputy Speaker, once again, those things are all new to me, so I'd have to deal with those as they come. Um, what we can expect, or at least what I hope Guyana can expect from the 12th Parliament, is for us to work collectively for all of Guyana, not just some of Guyana, all of Guyana. Schumann represents three parties in the National Assembly, a new and united Guyana ANOG, the Liberty and Justice Party LJP, and the new movement. He will, however, not occupy that seat for the entire life of the 12th Parliament. He will have to vacate that seat in keeping with a rotation agreement between the three parties. Meanwhile, the 65 elected members of the National Assembly also took the oath of office on Tuesday to serve for the next five years. Bibi Katun reporting for the newsroom.